When an otherwise superbly conditioned teenager dies suddenly, a condition called sudden cardiac death is often to blame. Dr. Anjan Batra of Children's Hospital of Orange County discusses the causes and the importance of getting your child pre-screened for heart conditions before they go and play. Sudden cardiac death is the leading cause of death in young healthy athletes. There is a very wide array of different reasons that can lead to sudden cardiac arrest. To mention the most common ones would include hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, abnormal coronary arteries, a sudden blunt blow or trauma to the chest, and then conduction abnormalities of the heart. In the United States, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is the number one leading cause of sudden cardiac death in young athletes. The condition itself cannot be prevented, but what can be prevented is the sudden cardiac arrest from these conditions. And when we talk about prevention, we tend to break it up into two big categories. That would be the primary prevention, which is to screen and identify the problem before the sudden cardiac arrest, or secondary prevention, which is to try and recognize a sudden cardiac arrest in a timely manner, treat it, and prevent sudden cardiac death from the sudden cardiac arrest. In the primary prevention, we can talk about different screening tools, and those would include a very good history and physical exam. Other screening tools would include an ECG or electrocardiogram, which is basically placing small stickers or electrodes on the chest and looking at the electrical signal of the heart, which is a relatively very simple test to do and non-invasive. And finally, what can also be done as a screening tool is an echocardiogram, which is like an ultrasound, sends sound waves and looks at the moving three-dimensional heart to look at the structure of the heart and the anatomy of the heart. When the patient has already gone into a sudden cardiac arrest, the two most important um, preventive measures would include appropriate CPR or cardiopulmonary resuscitation and the proper use of automated external defibrillators, also known as AEDs. What the AED is capable of doing is when placed appropriately in an unconscious patient, it can recognize an abnormal rhythm and treat it appropriately and get them out of this rhythm. What is an appropriate screening for somebody who wants to be competitive and play strenuous sports? Every athlete should at the very minimum have a good thorough physical examination and a history taken. An electrocardiogram would be an additional screening tool that we have available. The main reason it is not recommended by the American Heart Association at this point is because of the monetary cost involved with this. There are countries, such as Italy, that mandate and do a screening electrocardiogram on every single athlete. And the most recent studies coming from Italy have shown a substantial decrease in the sudden cardiac arrest in patients who have undergone this electrocardiogram screening tool.